Hey guys, Game Project Reese back here with another Black Ops 3 Zombies video for you. Today, we're going into the top 5 guns in Black Ops 3 Zombies. These are purely down to my opinion. You may think different, but this is what I think are the top 5 guns in Zombies. So, coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the VMP. You might be thinking why the VMP is, is not a particularly powerful gun, but it has got a lot of ammo and an incredibly fast fire rate, so you're going to get so many points with this thing. It's one of the best guns to set up with, in my opinion. Like any map, you go, you buy the VMP off the wall, 1,300 points, you're going to make 3, 4,000 points around, whereas with other guns, you're only be making 1 or 2,000 points. The only problem with this gun is it is not powerful. In the later rounds, it is really, without something like Thunderwall or Blast Furnace on, is not going to kill the zombies. And you're just going to burn through ammo like it is nothing. So that is the only downfall of this gun, it is brilliant in the early rounds, but just don't use it in the later rounds because you're going to be buying ammo off the wall three or four times for a single round later on. So moving on to the number four spot, or should I say the number four slash number three spot, because I could not decide between these two guns, and they are the Haymaker and the Dracon. They are both incredibly good guns, but they both do have quite big downfalls. The reason I put them here, they're both very powerful, quite high ammo counts. The Haymaker is great for training around with, you can pick off zombies easily. The Dracon, you can camp with it amazingly, it is super powerful, you don't even have to camp with it. You can train with it, but it's not such a viable option for training. That's the reason it's down. The reason they're not any higher up is because the Haymaker has such a bad drop-off point around the, around 30s, it just, you'll not be able to keep going with it. It will not be effective. The reason the Dracon is there is because it's not a gun that you can run with. You've got quite a low mobility rate, and it's got bad accuracy unless you're aiming down sights. So, moving on to the number 2 spot now, and in here we have the ICR-1. Now, this is a brilliant gun, it's got a good fire rate, lots of ammo, it's just going to keep getting through the rounds, it's pretty effective all the way through. The only problem I would say with it is it doesn't have a great amount of ammo. That's the reason it isn't at number 1. It's a great all round weapon, and as added as bonus, you unlock it at level 2, so you will always have the weapon kits with it. If you ever want to pick it out of the box, the ICR, straight away you take it. Plus it is a quite nice looking gun, it's got quite a nice sight by default. But coming in, in number one, is the one and only Man O' War. No gun in Zombies I believe compares to this. You can use it for anything, for training, for camping, it's got loads of ammo. It is basically the ICR but with more ammo. It's got great range, it's got a fast enough fire rate so you don't run out of ammo straight away. It does plenty of damage, it's going to keep you surviving. You're never really going to find this gun is ineffective unless you're at like super high rounds, like triple figure rounds. Now, the only one thing that I would say would improve this gun is better default iron sights. And the fact that you unlock it at level 35, I believe. But if once you get past Prestige 1, you just perma unlock this gun straight away. You've got it with them weapon kits, rapid fire on it, and it's fantastic. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, leave a like. If you are here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.